Hi, welcome to the Mom Series, The Misunderstanding of Multiplicity. My name is Maria. Happy New Year. Uh, happy 2016. I said I wouldn't come out and make a video until I had something important to talk about that had to do with multiplicity in the media or DID in the media. Um, this channel focuses, has always been my focus. My heart goal was to look at the misconceptions in the media and how the media misportrays more often what multiplicity or DID is, over sensationalizes it, of course, but adds fear and stigma to those that are living with the diagnosis and to their families, this, what we call the secondary survivors of who, who are there supporting the person and uh, trying to figure out how to uh, understand the person and back in the 80s and 90s you know we were told anyone that was diagnosed multiple was told you're gonna, gonna be in therapy for life just count on it <laughs> there is no cure unless you go for the integration cure and there was this medical model integration cure that Nobody really knew what made it stick or if it stuck or how you got there or if it lasted or nobody really knew what it really even looked like. Okay, so um, it was like reaching for something you didn't really know and if you achieved it, you didn't know it either. So um, there had to be another way. And when Trudy Chase and the Troops came out in the book, with the book When Rabbit Howls, they showed uh, us all a different way of how to not integrate, but stay together, co-functioning, co-running, co-existing with no lost time, living. Um, Trudy Chase and the Troops passed away March 10th, 2010. Um, they wrote One Rabbit House, and... Uh, I believe that came out in 1987. I didn't read it till the early 90s. Um, they were on Oprah Winfrey, and Oprah Winfrey uh, stated that it was one of her top 25 most memorable um, interviews for her audience, for the viewers. But personally for her, it impacted her because as she was interviewing Trudy, and as Trudy and the troops were talking and just explaining uh, parts of When Rabbit Howls and the story, um, it brought up stuff with Oprah where she remembered her own abuse and she lost it on air. I mean, she just broke down and cried on air. That had never happened before, and um, it became one of the most memorable interviews. Years later, when Oprah was sh shutting down her her um, her show, and she did, where are they now for the most memorable interviews? And she asked, where is Trudy Chase and the troops? Where are they now? This is where they were. Before they passed away, this is where they were. They were writing The Creature of Habit, a journey. Written and illustrated by the troops for Trudy Chase, author of the New York Times bestseller, When Rabbit Helps. After all the talk shows, after all the therapy with Dr. Phillips that they did, after the movie Voices Within, after all the touring, all the talks, all the interviews, everything. They went home and they realized we have to get better together. And they embarked on their journey of self-recovery and self-discovery outside of therapy. And the troops wrote The Creature of Habit, A Journey, and illustrated it with beautiful artwork. Now, 
Trudy and the troops went to get it published in the late 90s. And were told, oh, it's a little too long and it's got way too much artwork in it. And this is why this book is so dear to my heart. They could have edited it. They could have cut out a few illustrations, changed a few lines here and there, left out a paragraph or two, but they didn't. Instead, they tucked it away in the attic and really were discouraged. And Kari Ainsworth, Trudy's daughter, the troop's daughter, knew how very important this work was, how her mom and the troops had a message to give to the world that there is life beyond therapy, that you can get better outside of therapy. After you've done the work, after you know what you need to know, you need to continue on in your journey of recovery. And they wrote this book in hopes to tell a world that they saw full of trauma, a world where more and more children were being abused, where wives were being domestically abused, where soldiers were coming home from one war after another traumatized, where whole masses of people were globally traumatized by world events. They saw so many traumatized, fearful, anxious people in the world. And I said, if we can tell them how to get past a trauma, post-trauma, how to, how to do this. Um, and they, they didn't want to compromise and leave any of their words out or any of their artwork out. And so the book didn't get published. And I had a little theory about this when I first read this in the book, was that in the late 90s, they had changed the name in 1994 from MPD to DID. And it really kind of slacked off in the media. There wasn't such immediate interest in multiple personality anymore because now you didn't hear too much about it. It was called DID. Nobody knew what the heck that was. So um, I think it was a combination of that because I'll tell you, at the same time, I was approaching publishing houses to give my story and I was told there wasn't an audience for it there wasn't it wasn't marketable because it wasn't hot in the market anymore it wasn't a subject that was hot in the market um, so like I said there's always been a timeline where media romances a topic and then dumps it and this is the time again where uh, Multiplicity is in the media under the name DID uh, because that's what it's been reclassified as. But I think that's really more of it. And I'm so, I'm, I'm sad that Tree and the Troops didn't get to see their work completed on this earth because that was their passion. But I know they're seeing it from another um another round of heaven and um, Kari got in touch with me um, last Thanksgiving week and sent me the e-line book without all the illustrations because she was still finding illustrations and where they needed to go and typeset them and the font and the print she was still finding more and more and she asked me if I would write a little blurb for the book and I'm very honored that it is right there. And thank you, uh, Kari. Such an honor to be a part of something so much bigger than me. And I know how hard this was to do in a logical sense, but I can't imagine from a heart sense um, a da daughter, mother, um, how how uh, how driven you must have been to get this done and um, so I want to tell everybody the book is done it's in hardback it's been out since November it uh, it's absolutely beautiful um, 
There is a ton of artwork that Trudy and the uh, troops did, and you can get it at trudychase.com. And this is a bookmark that uh, is one of the bookmarks of several. And the detail is incredible. The detail is enormous. It, um, if they had left out one word in this book, it wouldn't make sense. If they had left out one illustration, it wouldn't have made sense. And uh, that's why I think it's just so, excuse me, phenomenal that Kari was able to get this book together with the help of uh, a couple of friends. I wanted to show you a couple of illustrations with permission from Kari in video form to show you. Um, this is my very favorite. Uh, this is my favorite. I'm not giving it in the camera. My favorite illustration in the whole book. Is that not gorgeous? It has a three dimensional um, look to it. It is just. Don't you feel like you're just going to step through the book and enter a journey? And um, the illustrations alone are worth the price of the book and more. Um, each illustration follows the scene and the characters in the book and the storyline totally. Um, and you know, the thing that made this such a feat of love and such a hard work too and phenomenal to see it in print is that the ma her mom and the troops didn't have this all put together neat and tidy. They they had it they had it ready to be published. They had it set as they would have liked it, the poetry where they wanted it, the prose where they wanted it. They had it in journals written. They had it in paper after paper that she had to put together uh, with notes of what what belonged where. They had it uh, typewritten. They had, and, and then they had files they had to go get. And uh, even the decoration on the pages, the attention to the detail of the decorative, it's a beautiful book. Universal message for people returning from war, for people that have been through mass traumas, for people that have had any loss in their life at all, for anybody that has ever been told, you can't because you never have, so you shouldn't. If you do this, this might happen. The creature meets characters all along the way that encourage him and discourage him, that taunt him and that um, comfort him and challenge him and to step out of what is the familiar and what the belief patterns that you build up when you're in fear and when you just want to stay safe and the walls that you build that keep you safe, but then work against you by keeping you always stuck. The beginning of this book, this creature is stuck and looking to get unstuck. And the internal dialogue between the creature and all the characters is a feat of dialogue and that they work through to um, be free and be healthy. And so you can go to TrudyChase.com to get all the artwork. You can go to Facebook, Trudy Chase. You can go to Barnes & Noble to get the book, Amazon to get the book. But you can go to TrudyChase.com and get everything. And one of my suggestions I just wanted to make was that, oh, we don't need a, we can start a book club. And I thought, why not, for those of us that have read the book, and already got the hardback and read it, um, to go to the Facebook page uh, whenever and discuss the book. And then for those that want to get the book and discuss it, we can make a date for February 22nd on Trudy Chase's birthday and share our thoughts about this book.
however it resonated with you. There was a chapter, there was an area of the book that all of a sudden you got it, it clicked. There was an illustration that really spoke to you. We can discuss that all um, together on Trudy's birthday, February 22nd. So go get the book, and then um, I hope to see you over at the Facebook page on um, TrudyChase.com. Thank you, and I'll be out to make more videos about a few other things in the media later. Take care. Bye-bye.